Hello guys and welcome in. Today I'm going to be discussing how to use the farming root feature of Harvest Maps. Harvest Maps is an add-on that displays resource nodes, chests, and fishing spots along with a couple other things. It's on your map. This add-on does not come with any pre-collected resource locations. This add-on will only display the locations you discover yourself unless you download the Harvest Map Data add-on. Once you have the sufficient data gathered or you download this additional add-on, you can get started using the Farming Tool feature. The first thing you will want to do is open up your map and select your filters. Depending on what you want to farm, this will affect what appears in your farming tour. For me, I'm going to select smithing and jewelry, clothing, wood, runes and psychic portals, mushrooms, herbs, and chests. You can select as many or as few of these options as you want. Now, you can see on the map the different items being populated. There are a lot of nodes to choose from, so let's use the tool to make an automatic farming tour for us. Go up here to the farming tour editor and I leave it at the default minimum length of three and ask it to calculate me a tour. And seeing as how there are so many nodes in this zone, there are many options, it is going through and calculating the best node to distance ratio for a route. And here we have a result. Before you do anything else, make sure to save your tour. Now, let's go see if this tour that's automatically generated is any good. Once you're closer to where the starting point of the farming tour is, you can zoom in and select a node to be your first point. This will pop up what I call the farming tour compass. As you can see, there is an arrow that is green if you're going in the right direction, red if you're going in the wrong direction, and tells you how many meters away you are to your next node. What you're going to want to do is run through your whole path following the guide. This is an important thing to do and not deviate from it to ensure that the path that the add-on has automatically developed does not walk you over a cliff, does not walk you into enemies, and you can adapt it as you want to either make it longer, shorter, skip nodes, add nodes. Speaking of which, I notice there's two rather convenient nodes here that are not included in my harvest path, so I am going to add these in. To do that, you'll want to step a little bit away from them so that you can properly target them and not hit your own cursor. You'll want to go to the Edit Tour, select the last node that was in your pre-existing tour, select any new nodes you want to add, and then you can see how I've messed up. I moved still slightly too far in the way, so I'll have to restart. Again, going to farming tour, selecting the node that was last in my tour, the two new ones I want to add, and then the next one to loop it back in. And again, whenever you make a change, make sure to keep saving your tour. You can save it as new versions or you can give it a new name. And then you have to reselect on the map to start back up on the tour. And again, just work your way through the whole map to ensure you're doing the most optimized version of your tour. After making the full loop on my map, I'm going to eyeball and make it a little bit longer. If your loop is too short, then the chance of those nodes respawning before you get back around is very low. So we are going to eyeball what looks to be a good route that branches off our pre-existing one. And I'm just selecting nodes as I think that they look appropriate. And you can do as many or as few. You can zigzag around. And even if nodes are close to each other, I like to add them all to my harvest map to get more recorded nodes in my tour. 
Now, and since we're gonna have to run the whole entire thing anyway, I'm going to go ahead and make not one, but two more large additions to this harvest tour. Don't be afraid to edit up your map just because the one that's auto-generated might not be the best for you. And so we putter over to the area where our first changes were to the map and we make more and more changes until we finally get a tour that we like. This is a really powerful feature in the harvest maps add-on that I don't see a lot of people using. I personally enjoy it because I don't have to think about where to go next or worry that I am going in too small of a circle for nodes to respawn. As long as I keep following my route, I'll reliably stay on top of any new nodes that spawn. And with that guys, I hope you found this to be helpful. This is a hidden gem feature of the harvest map add-ons that I don't see a lot of people using. And if we have any casual material farmers, I think you would enjoy adding this to your repertoire of tools that you use in the Elder Scrolls Online. So good luck and happy farming out there. With that guys, thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you learned something new. And if you liked the video, make sure to throw a like. And if you want to stay up to date for more ESO tips, we post a variety of Elder Scrolls online content here on the channel, so make sure to subscribe. And if you can't get enough of us, we're live four days a week over on Twitch. If nothing else, thank you all so much for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Bye!